Come on, come on, let's go, let's do this. 17. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back with another video, and this video is about the Gambler 8 challenge. Probably the most frustrating, most annoying challenge there is in the game, I swear. Rockstar, come on. Anyways, so let's see what you have to do for this challenge. Let's see over here, let's open it up. Let's see, where are you? So win three hands of blackjack with three hits or more. Basically, win blackjack with at least three hits. Okay, that sounds easy. Eh, wrong. Listen, like I said, this challenge is the most frustrating challenge I've ever uh, that I've done so far. I swear. Now listen, if I were you guys, I would get my phone or my computer or my laptop, sit it down next to me. Because this challenge is going to take hours. I swear, so just open Netflix. Open YouTube. Matter of fact, open my channel. Check out my channel. Listen, i got so many videos. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that this challenge will take you so long to complete. Listen, this challenge took me, I think, four to five hours to complete. So what I'm saying is just get comfortable. Get cozy, because it's going to take a while. Anyway, so let's get to the challenge. So... This challenge requires no skill, it's all pure luck. So right now I'm currently in uh, Van Horn. It doesn't matter what location, it is, it's all the same. Listen, what you want to do though, is keep on betting. You're not, you're not playing blackjack to win, you just want to get the challenge done. So you always hit, always hit. You see this, I got 21, it's kept on hitting. Who cares if you go over, it's only, you're only betting 2 cents, so just keep on hitting, hit, 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 hit. That's it, basically. There's no strategy involved, you just, just got to keep on basically button mashing the X button. Just button mash it. And be patient, that's the whole thing, just be patient, keep trying, keep going, and you'll eventually get it. So that's my second win right there. Yeah! So as soon as I win, right, you just, just exit, just save the game, and then go back to playing. Now in this example, look, I get blackjack straight away. And it might seem good. But really it's not because now I gotta wait for the other two players. There's no option that you can skip. Like in poker you press R1, it can skip. In blackjack you can't skip and that's the whole annoying thing. Right? You gotta wait for the opponents to to, to, to finish their turn. You know. So that can be a little frustrating, but yeah, you know, like I said, just stick at it. And I'm back and sorry about that. You know these hoes always ring the line. But anyways, in this example, see I'm so stupid, listen. I stood on twenty, but I could have um, hit one more time, and what if that one time I got an ace, which equals a 1 or 11? Man, I would have won that right there, but anyways, you live and you learn, and I wouldn't have won that hand anyways, because the dealer got 21, and see, that's the other thing, when you, got a, you, you, when you get a good hand, the dealer will have an even better hand, oh my gosh, so like I said guys, A, be prepared to fail a lot of times, I swear this challenge, oof, man, and see, this hand right here is probably the worst hand you can get next to 21 and 19. Look, if you get a straight, look, here we go. Okay, what's that, a king? It's a, so that's 20. And if you get a hand like that, listen, just straight stand. So if you get a 19 or a 20, just straight stand. If you get an 18, just keep hitting. You can get a 1. Just get a, just, oh, sorry, an ace. Just get an ace three times, boom. You're in the money. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to look at your opponent's cards. Look at the first fella. He's got a 4, 5, and a 3. That's the cards that you want. The low cards. So you have a higher chance of winning. But anyways, yeah. And here's another example. 4, the first card. 2, the second. Alright, so we're sitting at 6. Listen, of course I'm a hit. 12. 12, okay, yeah, not bad. Let's go. Alrighty. Yep, again. 18. 18, yeah, I think I'm going to stand on that. Uh, Alright, now keep on watching this. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh. 15, Just keep right watching there. this round. Look. That's 12 there. We got a 9. Okay. Right, that's 18. okay. What? If you're wondering, pushed means it's a draw. Which means it doesn't count towards a win, which means you don't get the challenge. Now you guys will understand why this challenge is so frustrating. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the next one. 
Yeah, I'm feeling extra lucky right now. I'm sitting on 13. Hit. Della, give me a card. Let's go. What is it? A two. Oof. Not bad. Oh, yeah. One more. Give me an ace. Give me an ace. Oh. Lucky last card. Can I get it? I'm a stand. I just hope that Della has crap cards or goes bust or something. Please. Rockstar, don't do this to me. Too much torture. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's go. As soon as the challenge is over, you pick your chips up and you leave the table and you never play blackjack again. Because that's too much torture. Yeah. And you treat yourself to a bear. Look at, look at me. Look at me. We'll walk up to this bar right quick. But anyways, like I'm, hey. Like I said before, stay patient, just keep at it, and eventually you'll succeed. Yeah. Anyways, what's the next challenge? Gambler 9. Win three games of dominoes in a row. Oh my gosh, now that was a challenge in itself. I'll have a video up for that soon. But anyways, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. Click on my other video, Part 9 Gambler Challenge. I'll have it detailed, guide for that as well. You guys already know until then thank you like i said thank you for making it this far in the video take care i'll see you later yeah